What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Hope that you guys are all doing absolutely outstanding today. Starting this video off in the LBZ aka the giveaway Duramax as we are en route down to Peach Bottom Auto Body to get you guys an update. I figured why not make another field trip out of it and get you guys some more information to highlight the progress of how things are coming along. Last time I had anything worked on down at Peach Bottom I wasn't able to get down there as it is a little bit of a drive from my house roughly 40 minutes to be exact which can at times be difficult to carve out in a schedule as 40 minutes down, 40 minutes back. That's two hours in and of itself. And of course, we like to hang out with our good buddy, Sean, to not only catch up and reminisce over the things that we're working on, but also get you guys some quality content. But fortunately, today is not the case as well. It is kind of a crappy day in Pennsylvania, which leads to some inherent flexibility. As you guys can see, we have about 57 minutes down and they're calling for some amount of snow today. It obviously hasn't snowed too much yet. Usually they call for like two foot and there's like a dusting typical. Now I figured I'd wear my Atmos Polishes hoodie today because well it's snow camo and it kind of coincides with the weather and because I'm definitely going to have to use their products on this truck because it is going to be just a little bit dirty after some of the travels that we do today. But guys don't stress I'm going to get it cleaned up right away that way we get all this crap off the truck immediately. We will get her cleaned up right away. So for any new viewers to the channel, the truck that I'm driving in right now, my 2006 LBZ Duramax, I'm actually giving away to one of you guys. If you want to get entered for a chance to win this truck, visit Enthusiast, first link in the description below. All eligible Enthusiast merchandise gets you entries to win this truck. The campaign ends February 28th, and we will be announcing a winner roughly around the second week in March. Couldn't be any more excited about that day, and I know that one of you guys, as I'm looking through this camera, is going to be taking this truck home. I to wrap my head around the fact, too, that it felt like just yesterday that we announced this giveaway and we are already one month in which means we only have one month remaining don't miss your chance so let's sit back and enjoy the ride and i'll see you guys down there What are we dealing with today? Looks like we've got a small movement of things and we've got a very big genuine GM box, which tells me that some more of our parts might've come in. That's what the fender came in beforehand. All OEM parts that we were throwing on the build guys, not going anything aftermarket. Aftermarket by cost terms is more effective, but when it comes to quality, fit and finish, always go OEM all the time. If you're doing anything body work related, just know that what you pay for is what you get in terms of quality, longevity, fit, and finish. You don't want to skip corners on those kind of things. Sometimes I realize that it makes sense to, but if you have the flexibility to go OEM quality, just bite the bullet and you will seriously thank yourself. If you guys didn't see the last upload, this is the fender that was on the Minimax. God, look at how bad that is. Jesus. I just wanted to do this in the worst way. So yeah, we basically had like 10 pounds of dirt that was uh, kind of wedged up between the fender liner and the fender itself, kind of right back here, right up in this area, right up under there. And uh, yeah, that's the result. So guys, this might be a little nerve wracking for some individuals that have a little bit older vehicles, but I encourage that you take your wheel liners out and you go up under there, especially if you've gone mudding or if you've been out in the fields or out in the dirt in the past and try and clean that up. If you find any results like that, I'm sorry, but it's probably worthwhile to at least check. There's some of my fender right there as well. So I've decided to keep the OEM fender flares off the truck. You can see on the side here that there was a little bit of rub-a-dub. Unfortunately, that's just what happens. We are going to try and touch that up to keep these fender flares off. Unfortunately, that is just part of the process, but I do wanna keep them off because personally, I really like the look and I don't want any debris getting up and under there in the future after we've all this work to bring the truck back to life. On the back here, the roll pan has been pulled off. You guys can see it just hanging out right here. Doesn't look like we have any forward progress on that, but it is good that that is off. I'm actually gonna hold on to these for a little while as I know that a lot of you guys are probably jumping to say, ooh, 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 I'll buy them off of you. I will probably end up selling them, but for the time being, I'm just gonna hold on to them just to make sure that I'm not gonna change my mind. I'm very much committed to keeping the fender flares off of the truck for the time being, but I definitely wanna make sure that we can at least do a good job of touching up some of the areas that they actually rubbed through the paint and scratched the paint and did some damage and all of that, which is kind of a bummer. Are you guys ready to see something extremely sexy? Notice something different? Hey buddy, just in here like I own the place, you know? You're good, I figured you wouldn't have to look at my truck you brought down. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Dude. There you go. Sean, congratulations on winning the LBZ. 
Dreams do come true, oh, buddy. Stoked. <laughs> <laughs> Give me this back. <laughs> I see that uh, something changed yeah, no doubt. up here. No doubt. As you can see, what else needs to change to make this happen? So for everybody curious about the 06 front end conversions, you can see that if you do the LBZ grill, this is an OEM grill. Like I had mentioned, guys, we are keeping all OEM quality on this truck. This is the OEM LLY hood, and uh, there is a big gap. So you don't really want to give your truck a cleft lip. You want to make sure that everything lines up accordingly, uh, which means that said box over there might contain the other piece of this situation. How last minute was this decision? Oh, it was uh, a couple of days ago. It's pretty, pretty last minute. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. So the metal has been pulled off already. That's gonna be paint matched. Yeah. Oh, you got them over here? Sweet. Yeah, they're, they're sold separately with the grill. That's one thing you ought to know too. Of course they are. They're an extra like $40 a piece or whatever on top of buying the grill, unless you find a used one. Come on, GM, you guys are killing us. Dudes, are you guys excited about the fact that the Minimax and LLY is being converted to an LBZ? Like I said, this is totally unplanned. The last time that I was here in that update video that you guys saw, I kind of said to Sean, Dude, like, should we should we do the conversion? He's like, dude, that's totally up to you. And I was like, yeah, we should do it. Yeah, it's perfect too because you're giving away the LBZ. So now you've got your replacement for the LBZ. Yeah, the LBZ truly left an impact on me. Truly did. So a lot of you guys wanted to know about how Sean installed the Recon cab lights on this truck. Guys, not sponsored ad, but if you want to get 20% off with Recon, the link is down in the description below. I love those guys, and they're all enthusiasts at the end of the day, and they provide a great product. This truck did not come equipped with OEM cab lights, so we actually had to drill some holes to install those. And, uh, you know, there are a few people, of course, saying, oh, well, they're going to leak, and Recon cab lights leak. Well, what you can blame that on is your installer at the end of the day because they didn't do an adequate means of actually sealing the cab lights during the installation. So I wanted to just let Sean kind of give you guys uh, the 411 on how he went about installing and sealing them as you guys might be able to use that information as well for your future purchases. Take it away, Sean. If you didn't have to do any wiring, maybe you could leave it in. So if your truck already has cab lights installed and you want to just do recon swap to make them look better, then you can probably don't have to drop the headliner. You should just be able to unscrew them, pull them out, and put them in. And you'll have access to the wiring harness probably right through the top of the cab right. rather than actually pulling the whole interior right. apart, which so, is why I wanted to give it to you in the first place because I was like, A, no way I'm dropping that, and B, no way I'm drilling holes. Yep. I don't trust myself. Um, so once you have all that stuff out, the whole assembly pretty much just drops much. down. When you do these, you want to make sure, A, you line them up, dry fit, test fit, everything you can do. Measure 17 times, right. drill once. That's right, yeah. Because you don't, there's no going back. No. You know, it's, it's once you drill the holes, you're done. Which is another reason I didn't do this. <laughs> so, the junkyard down the road and looked at a 2004 LLI and took measurements from that truck in order to get these cab lights on. Now, they're not the same exact cab lights, but we use the same measurements because we wanted it to look the same for this year. You oh, know? yeah. And, so what I wanted to show you guys and have kind of Sean talk about real quick, I feel like I'm on top of the world, is uh, basically the windshield on these trucks is a little bit more curved uh, than the newer Duramaxes. So he followed that OEM pattern as he had talked about measuring off of that other truck that was like quite literally conveniently down the road. Uh, so assemblies are actually just a little bit back to follow the curvature of the windshield. Uh, which is nice because it maintains that OEM placement and styling. Uh, but again, you don't get that kind of big bubble effect, which is probably one of the primary reasons that a lot of you guys consider new cab lights because you can get that new styling, whereas the old ones are kind of like that huge like domicile and they're orange. They're... Sean, how'd you go about sealing these things up? A little silicone doesn't hurt. We, we decided if we could probably have put those on with the rubber strips that Recon gives you and they probably would have been okay, but the reason why we, we actually used a little liquid silicone basically to around it. So when we put it on, it, it helped to spread out. The reason- And I'm happy you did that yeah. because it, it, it never hurts to add just another layer of confidence, especially when it comes to anything waterproof. I mean- And the roof. You know, and the fact that this roof, this truck will be outside. I drive this truck all the time. I don't want to take a chance of getting in it one day and finding that my entire headliner is soaking wet. Yeah. So to use like, let's just say a, a non out of the box option to make sure that these things are sealed up. It's a no brainer. Yep. And guys, we did use the uh, provided harness from recon. It's in an additional like 30 or 40 bucks, but I didn't feel like dealing with the wiring myself and I didn't want to make Sean deal with it. Cause like wiring's a pain in the ass, yep. but they're hooked up. I will have Sean turn them on so you guys can check them out. 
They look really, really good. I decided to stay with the OEM styling, uh, going with the amber lighting on these. I'm giving you another set of my Duramax keys, two in one video. Oh, yes. That's all you need to do. Damn, they look good. They look so freaking sick. Oh, boy. Now she looks like an HD truck, boys. We're doing the front end conversion. This thing, you wouldn't even be able to tell that it was the Mini Max if I didn't even update you guys on all these things. It's like it could be totally incognito. Yeah, I'm happy with them. They look sick. So now guys, uh, you might be asking about the LLY parts. I've got the OEM LLY grill right here. I have the OEM LLY hood. I will be selling these parts, so if anybody's interested in those, definitely shoot me a message. They're all down here at Sean's right now. We have all the boxes that we would need to ship them. We would be shipping at buyer's expense, but just go ahead. If you guys are serious, you wanna come down here and pick them up, that's fine. But if you wanna get them shipped, uh, we would be shipping at the buyer's expense. See you, Sean. Last but not least, there's a good shot at what is the LBZ hood. But you can see how massive this box is. I am six foot tall. Well, I'm actually 5'11". I like to round to six foot, but we can just keep that between ourselves. HD characteristic, the big bellowed cowl of the hood where the LLY doesn't have that. So anybody that doesn't really know the difference between an LBZ hood and an LLY hood, it's basically just the front end here. You can see that the lip comes down to fill that void right there. And the whole cowl or the middle of the hood is actually elevated significantly, whereas the LLY hood is the same hood that's shared on the 1500 style trucks and it doesn't have that Boulder HD look. So that was one of the revisions that they made from 0405 to 0607, AKA the LBZ, AKA the giveaway truck, AKA why I wanted to give away an LBZ because they are just so timeless. So, you know, I really like coming down here, hanging out, Peach Bottom Auto Body, always a great time. Definitely plan on making a few more trips to give you guys updates. I know you've been enjoying them. I've been enjoying them too. You know, growing up, my father and I restored a 1948 Chevy pickup pretty much from the ground up. And I can remember as a child, always going down to the body shop just to get updates. And you know, it's kind of cool. It's like fast forward 27 years and here I am doing the exact same thing with people that I have great relationships with like Sean. Whereas my dad and I used to do that when I was literally just knee high to a grasshopper. And it's really cool guys. It all goes back to being an automotive enthusiast and being so passionate about what you love. I can't even tell you any more than the words that I can use to describe the fact that man, this is literally what my life revolves around. I am so in love with not only the addiction to modifying and building something that's reflective of your characteristics but also the awesome relationships that you get to establish and share along the way. It's timeless. Baby girl, it's good to see you. We will see you soon. I'm gonna run over to the other building at Peach Bottom here. Come on over to building two because Sean's got some updates for us over here as well that I couldn't leave you guys out on. Got a little frame resto going on here. First time we're starting to smooth that out to you. Nice. Yeah, so guys, anytime you paint match any of the OEM plastics, these are like, they have these small little bumps or like perforations on the plastic. So you have to actually sand all that down before you go and primer and paint. So that's kind of where we are right here. We've got the valence, we've got the bumper. If you guys can recall from the last video when we were over in that shop, there was just an insane amount of rust all throughout here. Sean, thanks for taking care of me here, buddy. That was like, that was like one of my biggest insecurities. So Sean was like, dude, I got something. Poor 15, you guys usually see this being used on like frame restorations. It's like industrial grade. I mean, you get this stuff on your hands and it, it quite literally doesn't even come off with like lacquer thinner. And then the mirrors are completely taken apart. So that's what a new style toe mirror looks like. That's not moving. I'm not gonna move it. Wow, that's really on there, there dude. Go. It all makes sense now. So that about wraps up this update video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. We we're making significant progress on the Minimax and I'm telling you dudes, I couldn't be any more excited about actually getting this truck back in my possession, getting that new turbo kit installed, those new injectors that we talked about in the last upload and all those good things. The Minimax is going through a complete transformation this year and uh, it's gonna turn out really sick. I hope that you guys like the news about the 0607 LBZ front end conversion on the truck and really the whole direction that this thing's going in efforts to make it one of the best ultimate street trucks possible. So my like league, I love you guys. Do what you do best. Grab an entry for the LBZ giveaway, tap that subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next upload.